before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. How y'all guys doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shoving Those Hogs back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the caramel morph and Western hog nose snakes and show you pictures of what that looks like as well as what it looks like when it's combined to other incomplete dominant genes as well as other recessive. So let's get started. So the caramel gene is recessive and it's also a T plus albino. So similar to lavender, toffee, Evans hypo, all those are T plus albino. I find that the caramel gene looks very similar to the toffee belly, but with one noticeable distinction, a lot of times, but not always, the caramel gene reduces the head pattern of the snake. So let's move on. We can show you um, what caramel looks like when combined with the incomplete dominant genes. You have the anaconda gene as well as the arctic, and these are just general pictures so you can see what they look like so the anaconda the superconda the arctic and super arctic so so this right here is when you combine caramel with the anaconda gene which reduces the pattern on the left hand side you have a very high contrast caramel anaconda and then you have the caramel superconda without the pattern along his body and as you can see with the well both of these they have a very reduced head pattern and what's crazy is I scout with the internet everywhere and I this is the only picture that I could find of a caramel with the arctic gene. I was not able to find an arctic caramel and uh, I only found a super arctic caramel. Now they do have like arctic caramels but they're also combined with other recessives that we'll get to later in this video but with just the plain caramel gene this was the only picture I was able to find with that in our arctic gene so this is a super arctic anaconda caramel so it has both of the incomplete dominant genes and it's nicknamed the nemesis very cool looking snake let's move on to combining the caramel gene with recessives we're going to start with the sable gene and we have uh, the sable caramel was called a toasted caramel also this was in my sable video very cool looking snake Next up, we're going to combine it with the exanthic gene, which removes the yellow and red and orange pigment, leaving you with gray, white, and black. And so a caramel combined with an exanthic is called a frostbite. So we have just a regular frostbite on the left, and then on the right, frostbite anaconda, the reduced pattern. And then in this picture right here, we have the frostbite superconda, um, and as you can see, the reduced head pattern from the caramel gene. Next up, we have the caramel and anaconda, the caramel and albino. And when you combine these, you get what's called an ultra male. So we have the ultra male, we have the ultra male anaconda, and then we have the ultra male superconda. All right, now we can go a little bit further and we'll add the arctic gene so you can see the arctic <clears throat> caramel albino and then the arctic caramel albino anaconda going one step further we're going to do the super arctic so this is the ultra male super arctic on the left and then the super arctic anaconda ultra male on the right very interesting snakes Next combination, we're going to add the pink pastel gene. And I don't think this has a name yet. These two animals were produced by Esalen at Exotic, at exotic Fire Hogs. So you have the caramel PPA, and then you have the anaconda version of it. Next combination, we're going to combine it with the lavender. And here you go. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this name but this was in my lavender video. So you can see the regular version and you can see the version that has the anaconda gene in it, with the reduced pattern. And as you can see, they all have reduced head patterns as well. Next up, we're gonna combine it with the Evans hypo gene, which looks very similar. And when you combine that, you get what's called a frosted. So very cool combination right here. 
So you have the frosted and then you have the frosted anaconda. And then right here is an example of a frosted superconda. Let's take it a step further and we're gonna add Arctic to it. So you have the Arctic frosted and you have the Arctic frosted anaconda. Then you have the Arctic frosted super anaconda. Let's take it a little bit further. So we have the super Arctic, which is super Arctic frosted is called the graphite. And then you have the super Arctic frosted anaconda called the blue steel. Very cool combination. One of my favorite morph combinations that involves the super Arctic gene. And let's take it a little bit further. You have the frosted super Arctic superconda. Look how crazy that snake looks right there on the left hand side. And then you have it when you combine the albino gene. So on the right hand side, you have the albino frosted super Arctic superconda. Really cool. A lot of combinations involve the caramel gene. So this is kind of confusing. All right, now we're gonna combine the caramel and the toffee belly. And this was the only picture I can find of this. Um, it's nicknamed the coffee. And I don't know of anybody else that has this combination. If they do, they haven't really posted it online, but this is the only picture I can find of the caramel toffee belly. All right, next up, we're gonna combine it with the skull face, which is very interesting because the caramel gene reduces the head pattern and the skull face completely reduces the head pattern. So this is what it looks like, um, the caramel skull face anaconda, and then you have the caramel skull face superconda, which almost completely has no pattern. It has the little, you see on the right hand side, it does have a little pattern like where his ear, like where your ear would be at. But other than that, it's almost completely patternless. And this one also looks like a, an albino version. You can see with the red eyes. All right, and then we have the frosted skull face. So um, frosted skull face and then the anaconda version and then the superconda. And if you remember back, I think the frosted is with the Evans hypo, I think. I get confused with the names. You can go back. I probably am wrong with that, but let's move on. So now we're going to add three or more recessive genes to the caramel and see what we get. So first, we're going to look at the caramel exanthic albino. And you get what's called a caramel snow. So the snow is the exanthic albino. And then we're just adding the caramel into it. And then we have the superconda uh, version of the caramel snow. Can't really tell that much. Um, and it's the only picture I can find um, was it in halfway, well, mostly in the egg. And so let's take it a little bit further. A frosted snow anaconda. And then we have the frosted snow superconda. Pretty cool. A lot of genes in play right there. All right, let's move on. What happens when we combine the caramel exanthic Evans hypo? We get what's called a Casper. So we have the regular version, the anaconda version, and the superconda version. It reminds me of like, it's in between a snow and a toxic. So it's a good in between. It, it almost looks like a toxic with red eyes, but that's pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna do another combination, caramel, sable, Evans hypo. And I've had this in other videos. This is the permafrost. So we have the permafrost, Arctic permafrost, and a super Arctic anaconda permafrost. Definitely one of the coolest combinations out there. And I'm, I'm hoping in 2024, we start seeing more of these up for sale and in the market. Next up, we have the caramel lavender Evans hypo. And we get what's called an Apache. Very cool snake right here. This was in my previous video. And then look at this combination, lavender Evans hypo caramel conda. So this is like the Apache. Looks very different from the, the one before that, but just with the, the anaconda gene. All right, next we have the caramel lavender albino. Caramel lavender albino, 
Um, this is, I don't think this has been named yet, but this was also in my lavender video. And then we have the Caramel Exanthic Evans Hypo plus Sable. And we get this crazy thing right here. I also had this in my Sable video. So very cool combinations right here. And that is the end of the PowerPoint. Um, it was a lot, definitely confusing. I had no idea that Caramel was in so many combinations. This was like my longest video. Um, so I'm pretty sure I missed some of them, um, but you know, it is what it is. I'll make a uh, an update maybe in a year once we have some more coming out. But I appreciate y'all for watching yet another one of these more videos. Leave your comments below and I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace out. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.